Hello friends. In last few months, many of you have asked me about entry-level pen display products in Wacom. I have answered most of you personally about this question, but I wanted to put this in the form of a video so that it can help more people. Now, in last couple of years, many of you have started using uh, annotation devices for your regular teaching purpose. And some of you might also be using non-display devices. And uh, most of you by now would have some experience of using non-display device. So if you are using this device for regular writing, you might have seen obvious issues with hand-eye coordination. So now I wanted to introduce this entry-level pen display product from Wacom, model number DTU1141B, which is very mobile, portable, and budget-friendly. Now, talking about this product, as you know about most of the Wacom product, the first two digits here, they specify the display size. So the total size of a display is 11 inches with 10.1 inches active display area. This is a full HD resolution product. It has a 15 degree integrated stand. As you can see here, the device comes with an inbuilt stand. You can put it here and you can start writing. The device also provides pen pressure, which is very common with Wacom device. You get 1024 pen pressure level. It comes along with a pen tether, which you can use. I'm not using a tether for this pen. I have not tied this pen with the device, but you can use this tether to tie the pen along with the device, which ensures safety of your pen. Like all other Wacom pen, this pen would also be battery free and cord free and would not require any charging. And the USB of this device is four touch uh, express key. So you, as you can see, these four dots here, these are shortcut keys. You can customize these buttons. For example, if I just touch it here, I have customized it to go to the next uh, slide. You can customize these four buttons and then I have customized the second one to move to the previous slide. This device is from the enterprise side of uh, Wacom product line. So it also has encryption. And the best part of this pen display is it does not require any external power supply. You don't have to use external power supply to boot this device. As you can see here, this is connected to my laptop through just one single USB cable. You get this 3.5 meter long USB cable, which has two USB ports. I have connected just one, but for better connectivity and better pen performance, you can also consider connecting both the USB ports to your laptop. But with just one single USB cable, you can get the display on the Wacom device and you can also use the pen. Now, I also want to, some of you have also asked uh, about how to begin with this device. So for your convenience, I would also want to mention that since the device requires just one single USB connection, you need to install two drivers for this device. And this is one time process. So what you can do is you can simply type DTU1141B, which is the model number of this device. And also for any Wacom pen display, you can just start by typing the model number and then you can type getting started. Press enter, you will get the first search result from Google. Click on that, you get the uh, you know DTU1141B page and then you can download these two drivers. As you can see, the first driver is called display link driver. This driver allows uh, DTU1141B to get the display from your laptop. So this driver is needed for the display since it does not require any external power supply. It requires this driver and the next driver would be a usual Windows driver for your pen. So this model requires two drivers. Uh, in some cases, when you connect this device with your uh, laptop, the device can automatically install display link driver, but it is highly recommended that you install both the devices and then just by using one USB cable, you can start using the device. Driver installation takes less than two minutes. So you just need to connect it, install both the drivers, and then you have your device. 10.1 inches active area can give you a decent enough writing space. I'll just show you. For example, let's say you're using Microsoft OneNote. So this is a decent enough writing area. 
which you can use to you know uh, write your basic uh, you know maths problem or, or whatever subject you're writing you can use all these uh, pen tools here it is uh, pen color etc which is very common with, with all the Wacom devices you have just one shortcut key on the pen just one shortcut key and the back side of the pen does not act and uh, act as an eraser you would have seen that in model number sorry model number 1660e uh, I've also covered uh, I've also put a small video of this model uh, on my on my channel you can check that for this model which is a more uh, appropriate model for more serious uh, kind of professional teaching the back side of the pen acts an eraser but this one does not have an eraser in the back side you have just one shortcut key which you can customize as per your requirement but you have four shortcut keys here you have just one single usb connection which means you can use this device on the go you don't have to be dependent on external power supply so this is something which i wanted to cover in this video because many of you wanted to start with a budget friendly uh, pen display and you wanted to know uh, more about this so that's all for this one i would also want to cover information about some other pen display models that we have some popular ones which are marketed very well and then i'll also give you some comparison in the next video till then thank you very much